The short version of this review is that Double Dragon 2 Wonder of the Dragons is the worst game on Xbox Live Arcade. The slightly less short version of this review is that Double Dragon 2 Wonder of the Dragons is the worst game on Xbox Live Arcade and you really need to download the demo to see why because words and video can't quite do this justice. The amazing thing about this game is that it's actually been in production for a few years. There was a trailer that was released in 2011 that you can see here showing what the gameplay looked like. And this is what it looked like two years later after some work on polish I guess and waiting for certification. And the only thing that seems to be different is the font used for the strike counter in the corner. With both versions of the game the first thing that strikes you is just how bad the game itself looks. The look of the game seems to have traded its I guess colourful cartoony look for something grittier and something just a bit dull and turgid. To be fair to the developer's gravity though, at least there is an example of another game that's tried this before and that's massively failed. Oh, no, wait, never mind. At least in Bomberman's defence, while the game did look like absolute turd, it was really the first time it had been tried with this series. Double Dragon 2 doesn't really have that excuse because while Double Dragon Neon wasn't the best of games, at least it got the look right. And by that I mean it focused on being colourful and fun and not whatever this mess is supposed to be. It's not even that the controls are bad, although they are, or that the game isn't any fun to play, although it isn't, it's that it's just way too hard. The only real defensive move you have to help you out is Perfect Guard, which works as a sort of parry, but because there's no invincibility for successfully performing a Perfect Guard, you just get smacked by another enemy instead, and the timing to land one in the first place is far too strict. So what happens is you get knocked down, 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 and then you die, and then you continue, you restart, and you get knocked down, you get knocked down, you get knocked down, you get knocked down, and you get knocked down again. Even the level design is kind of weird and wrong and doesn't make sense. Double Dragon 2, the original that is, had a plane level, so this does as well. But rather than work through a plane, at some points it will tilt upwards and you have to mash B to stay alive. If you do so, the plane levels out and then you have to fight more enemies again. It doesn't make any sense at all. It's just the simple things like how hard it is to even pick a weapon up, how hard it is to pull a lever, and even the English used in the menus isn't quite right. And the worst thing is, for a game that was built for co-op, hence the name Double Dragon, it doesn't even have online co-op. The only co-op play available here is local co-op. And I'm pretty sure if you do manage to convince a friend to somehow play this with you around yours, they'll never play a game with you ever again. But as I said at the start, videos and words can't quite do justice to how bad this is, so play the demo and, I guess, enjoy the worst game on Xbox 360.